set for tip off. McGuire, it's Wade Anderson with the ball. Off to number 40, Greg Sullivan. He's been playing well of late. Hanson, a big guy in the middle, guarded by Gwizdowski. He's looking for the ball inside. Here's Sullivan off to Wade Anderson. Second half coming off a big win over Crosby, and Holy Cross has struggled as of late. They've lost four in a row. Sullivan. Here's Zaccanini. Nice pass inside. And that's number 13, Wallace Wiggins for two. Great look by Brian Zaccanini. Here's McGuire down low. Off to Brian Davis. Look for a big night out of him tonight. He's got two early. And we're deadlocked at two. It's a good sign to see him get on the board early. <laughs> Wayne Anderson. To Zaccanini over to Sullivan. Sullivan with guarded by DiGiovanni. It's a great defensive player. He may have some problems tonight. And Davis picks up a quick foul. That's key. Wallace Wiggins is going to have to attack Davis tonight to try to draw some fouls on him. That's the last person they want to get into foul trouble. <laughs> Wiggins out top. Sullivan over Wayne Anderson. He's a jump shooter. Way off on that one, but Zaccanini controls the long rebound. He'll shoot from three now. They left him wide open for that one. And there's Derek Ray, the guard, pulling off the rebound. Had a little trouble with that, Paul. Davis to control at the point. This is a big rivalry between these two teams. And also a big game for the Crusaders. They have to... Uh, they have to get off this losing streak there in four in a row now. McGuire baseline. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Wiggins. Zaccanini over to Wade Anderson. DiGiovanna tips away. Good hustle. What a great Yeah, he's a great defensive player. and he, he shows hustle and determination on the court. Doesn't quite score a lot, but he's going to do the little things for you to help you win. Great. to put a little pressure on the ball coming up the court on, DiG on uh, Zaccanini. Here's Sullivan. Just a sophomore. Banks it and can't get it. Gwistowski, big rebound. Fights it. Fights down low, and they'll get it out to DiGiovanna. He'll run a little bit. Gray. Off to DiGiovanna. DiGiovanna was scoreless against Hillhouse. He's going to try to break out of that. Gray for three. Yeah, definitely. And they're going to need jump shooting like that out of Gray and DiGiovanna as well. Here's Wiggins. Very athletic for a big guy. Off to Hanson. Good look. And Hanson's got two. Hanson looks like he needs a couple pounds to be a good ball player. Big tussle for the rebound. Gray comes up with it. And there'll be a foul on the play, I believe, on Wallace Wiggins. <laughs> Two shots for Gray. Gray will shoot two. 5-4, Holy Cross leads. Sacred Heart decked in their home yellow jerseys, Holy Cross with their road green on. And Gray misses his first. Short in the second, so 0 for 2 on the free throw line for Jarek Gray. And Segarra controls with a chance to take the lead. Sacconini, the point man. He's a junior. Off to the sophomore Sullivan. Very young team. Hanson is their only senior on the team. Tough shot there, but rolls around a little bit. And Gwizdowski with another rebound. Uh, Gwizdowski play like this all game with the rebound from him. It looks like Cole across the lead. Davis out top, off to DiGiovanna. Uh, DiGiovanna's got to shoot that shot and make it. Gray. Can't get the three to go. Davis inside, and Wade Anderson controls as it's stripped away. What exactly happened? Yeah, it got stripped away. Zaccanini, coast to coast. He's a quick person. Yeah, he, the quickness may be a problem for DiGiovanna out top. DiGiovanna and McGuire. There's Derek Gray. DiGiovanna over to Davis on the wing. Davis made five three-pointers against Hill House. Here's Gray again. Strictly perimeter so far for the Crusaders. They've got to crash, crash it inside a little bit. We got 4.38 left in the first. 6-5. Sigurhart with the lead. Zaccanini brings the ball up. Gu tightly guarded by Derek Gray. Here's Sullivan inside. Good entry pass to Wiggins. Fade away jumper wasn't even close. It's good defense by Brian Davis. He's going to take it down. Off to McGuire, but tipped away Sullivan. Good defense, and now Sullivan will run. Both teams running here early. Sullivan, coast to coast, tripped up a little bit, 
and it will remain with the uh, Sacred Hearts ball. Early, the sophomore and Sullivan will have to learn early. You cannot run like that. I mean, you've got well, a lot of hand there. They're a young team. Right now on the court, they've got two juniors, two sophomores, and one senior. Here's Sullivan. Tough move inside. He's got two. DiGiovanna brings it up for her. Brian Davis, baseline, gets fouled. I think it was Wade Anderson on the foul. Yeah, he, yeah that, that's what they want out of him. He's going to provide some inside outside play for him. Wade Anderson committed the personal. That's his first. Four minutes even to play here in the game. 8 5, Sager Hart. First one on its way, and it is good for Brian Davis. Davis had 25 points against Hill House, and he's been their leading scorer all year long. Next second. So Wallace Wiggins now controls the ball at top. He can pretty much do it off her uh, hearts. Off to Sullivan. Hanson posting on Gwizdowska, gets the ball inside. Loses control, but it comes right out to Wade Anderson for three. And he nails the three-pointer. So Wade Anderson, every one of the starters have scored for Sacred Heart High School. This is always a good sign, uh, equal scoring for all the players. They lead 11 to seven. McGuire tough pass to Davis, off to Gray. Swings to DiGiovanna, good pass inside. Now he's got the open three for Gray. He'll short on that. Davis inside with the rebound and puts it in. Travel, so say Holy Cross pressure was uh, instrumental in that turnover. 11 to nine, Davis with six of their nine points for the Crusaders. Yeah, it was really... Um... McGuire having trouble down low, gets it out to Davis. Davis out top to DiGiovanna as they work the ball around the perimeter. It's definitely a little unselfish. Him, he and Gwizdowski are really unselfish players. Tough pass by Gray, and it's a turnover again for the Crusaders. Good catch by Sullivan in the open floor. Goes in, can't get it, and DiGiovanna controls the rebound. He's forcing a couple shots early at Sullivan, trying to get off on track. DiGiovanna works off a uh, Gwizdowski screen over to Derek Gray. Gray thinks about it, then does take it. Misses the three. The hustle won by Zach Anini on, on that loose ball. And Sagar controls with 2.30 left to play here in the first quarter. We've got a two-point game, Sagar on top. Offensive, Wallace Wiggins. Good job by Brian Davis to draw the foul. Two fouls on Wallace Wiggins. Let's see what we can get off the bench. Right now the Crusaders will bring in Chris Matthews, a sophomore. He'll replace Derek Gray. Seems to be some commotion out here. Matthews Just, yeah. Definitely. He, you know, he's, he's the type of player also is an unselfish player. Doesn't like to shoot too much. He's in there. He's in there for defense and uh, to distribute the passes. Matthews out top. Good pressure. That's a kick. Sometimes a little too much, though. Sometimes he has the open jumper and he just doesn't want to fire the button. But as a sophomore, his time will come later, in the, later to be a scorer. There's Matthews with the ball now. Off to DiGiovanna. Matthews played a big role in Holy Cross's game right here on this same floor against Wilby. McGuire, Gwistowski controls Davis. Can't get it to go, tipped by McGuire. It's still loose, Gwistowski, and there's the little guy, Zaccanini. He stands about 5'5". Five, five. He is little though, but he got the rebound there. He's quick too. Sullivan off to Wiggins. Wiggins has two personals, that's something to watch early. Holy Cross will be used to the quickness after playing the tough ball against Holy Cross Academics. Wiggins takes a baseline, gets it, resets for Sacred Heart. Drive in the middle is Zaccanini. Sullivan controls the loose ball and fires from three point range. Boy, it's more than Derek Gray and Sullivan like to shoot the ball, huh? Well, they're getting those open shots right now. Bastico is about to set the check in for the Crusaders. He's at the table waiting right now. DiGiovanna front rims the three. I like to see that shot at DJ. Oh, wow. Gwizdowski's working hard. He is working hard tonight. He's getting rewarded. Davis can't get it to go. Again, Holy Cross battles on the boards. 
Radiant. And uh, Spico. And Keith Shea for Holy Cross. He's about to check in. Keith Shea replaces Wallace Wiggins, who has two personals, and Chris McGuire. Chris McGuire goes out. He'll be taking it out down low. Zichavon into Brian Davis. Let's set the lineup for Holy Cross. You have Davis and Bastico at the forwards. Gwizdowski in the middle. That's a three-pointer for Davis. He can really light him up from outside. The guards will be Chris Matthews and Dave DiGiovanna. What do you think about Brian Davis? A Division one prospect? I think right now he's only junior. Has another year left. And there's Keith Shea proving he could, he could do some work underneath. He comes right in and makes an instant impact. Two points and he'll draw the foul. Getting back to Davis, um, you know, he's still going to have another year left next year, senior year. I think he'll be an outstanding player at that point. And I know he's gotten contacted by a bunch of colleges right now. And it just seems like he can do it all. He can work inside, outside. So I think he has a real future with this sport. Shea to try to complete the three-point play. Sager Hart has regained the lead with that shot by Shea. The free throw is good for him. So right now we've got a two-point game with 45 seconds to play in the first. It's 14-12, Sager Hart. DiGiovanna has trouble controlling that pass, but regains possession. Here's Bastico. Off to Matthews. Tipped away, but Davis is there for the loose ball. He's being aggressive tonight, going to the hall. Two more for Brian Davis. Job, 11 points out of their 14 right now for Davis. He's a one-man show right oh, now. Great job, great job. Zaccanini. Keith Shea contains it. Inside Hanson. Boy, he literally laid a brick on that one, huh? Shea to take it out. Nine seconds. Zaccanini off to Anderson for three, and it's good again. That's his second three-pointer. And Sacred Heart will take the lead heading into the second quarter, 17-14. Wade Anderson with six points in the quarter. Brian Davis, 11 points for the Crusaders. <laughs> so we're, we're about set to start the second <laughs> quarter. Davis, who led the Holy Cross with 11 points in the first quarter, takes it out of bounds to Di Giovanna. Matthews, Bastico, and now Jamie Butler checks into the game for Holy Cross. Butler, Brian Zaccanini again coming up with a loose ball. His quickness really is evident here early. Sullivan for three. The Hearts like to bomb him. Big bound by Matthews as he controls it to Davis. Davis will bring the ball up now. Holy Cross, they, you know, they've been in a little bit of a slump. I think this is a big game for them to try to get their confidence up. Bastico crashing the boards. Butler keeps it alive to Matthews. Matthews pumps, gets the basket and the foul. Yeah, Chris Matthews. Hansen commits it. So Matthews showing some aggressiveness. As a sophomore, he came in. He's a guard, but he crashed the boards there and you know, paid dividends. Uh, not, not to go inside on Matthews to try to complete the three-point play, and he does just that. So the Crusaders tie the game up here. Right now, checking in is number 40. Sean Bazin, number 42. He's a freshman. And DiGiovanna, a little too aggressive on the full-court press, but I like to see the Crusaders running up and down, full-court pressing, you know? Generally, I cannot get mad about the aggressiveness. These teams are playing Cigar is having tough, but I mean, they're a young team. Just we're deadlocked right now at 7.30 to play in the first half. Full court press by the Crusaders. Hopefully, Sullivan. Hopefully Holy Cross has the key to that deadlock. And loose ball, it will go off Sacred Heart to Holy Cross. Holy Cross uh, will have possession. DiGiovanna walks the ball off court. Matthews on a wing. DiGiovanna gets it inside to Butler. Turnaround jumper, tough angle. Can't get it to go. Rebound Brian Davis. And he gets fouled by Bazin, his first. So Davis will go back to the free throw line. Brian Davis is playing 
I talked to him during the week and he said he was up for this one. He's very aggressive right now. That's what I'm surprised. You know, he's just taking it, he's taking it upon himself to break this three game, four game losing streak Holy Cross has had come upon them and he misses the first free throw. He's two for three from the line tonight. Second one is on its way, and it's good for Davis. So he's got 12 of their 18 points on the night. He's a one-man show. Look at this. You can see some fireworks. Oh. <laughs> and Davis will go up, though. He's provided everything Crusaders need tonight. DiGiovanna tips the ball away, but Wade Anderson's there. Oh, it looked like a walk. Off his legs, a holy cross ball. Right now, the pressure's getting to the uh, Sega Heart. So Holy Cross will have the ball. 6.50 to play here before the first half ends. And checking back in is Wallace Wiggins. He sat out a little bit with two personal fouls. Keith Shea did a good job for the, the Hearts. He had three points. Now, they'll go to a, a box and one. Nope, nope. What is it? One, two, two? No, they're, they're out of play. It's a one, three, one. One, three, one zone. Bringing a ball up is Wiggins. Really to get some valuable time Definitely. I think uh, starting to have faith in that shot. He didn't get into the... We're live on NBC, man. <laughs> Tell him how to move that. Giovanna just hit that two-pointer, driving in. That was Joe Napic, by the way, coming in on that little commentary for, our, for the network. And there'll be a foul on the play. It'll be Zach and Amy going to the line to shoot two. 22-17, Sega Harden is yet to score here in the second period. Checking back in is the captain, senior, Mac Wisdowski. Second, he need to shoot two. Oh. Zacchini makes the first. That's their first point of the second quarter. Sega Hart. He's played well at times this year with a young team. They beat Crosby, of course, last game. That was their biggest win of the year. Bastico controls the miss on Zacchini's part. And a tough pass to make by Bostico because Matthews really had nowhere to go. So Sullivan gives it back to the point man, Zaccanini. He's played well so far tonight. Very quick and a loose balls. Hanson at the free throw line calling for the ball. Sullivan back out to Wallace Wiggins. Wiggins trying to take DiGiovanna off the dribble, but can't do it. And DiGiovanna comes up with a loose ball. He tried to force the action there a little bit. It would have been better to pull it out and reset. But he gets it back and gets it to Davis. Just never quits out there, never quits. There's gonna be a timeout. Well, I think they, they do need it because uh, they've only scored one point here in the second quarter. Holy Cross has done the job. They're on a 10 to one run to start the second. The live action here. 5.29 to play in the first half. Sega hard to take it out the ball under their own basket. Wiggins inbounding. Gets it into Zaccanini. Full court press by the Crusaders. Man to man pressure. So far, it's been effective as it's causing passes like that to be made. I think Sager Hart's rushing it just a little bit right now. They've got to take their time and be patient against this full court press. There's another miss, and Davis controls the rebound. He'll bring the ball court. Davis has been the star with 16 points so far. DiGiovanna swings the ball to him. Back to Matthews. Holy Cross has played well. Air in the second quarter. They are on a 10 to 1 run, and Sager Hart's really looking for answers right now. Bastico has the ball. He's a little out of his range right there, but he dribbles in and pops. Can't get the bound. Can't get the ball to go down, and there's Hanson with the rebound. Greg Sullivan bringing the ball up court, looking for something. There's Wallace Wiggins. Preston uh, trapped in the corner, and there's DiGiovanna. Again, another steal. Going in, all the way for the layup. Well, he had zero points, and his confidence was down, but he has, he's, DiGiovanna was third steal of the night. Great. 
Di Giovanna brings the ball off court. The Crusaders have extended to an eight point lead. And Sigurdard really has gotten nothing out of their off court set, half court set. Here's Gwistowski in the middle. Took a couple steps inside, but Bastico gets the loose ball. Di Giovanna open for a wide open three pointer. Can't get it to go. Bastico crashing the boards, and it's Hansen who pulls down another rebound for the Hearts. Di Giovanna, as we said, was scoreless against Hillhouse, but he's really shown some confidence here. Great drive by Zach and he drew the foul on Matthews and put it in for the three point opportunity. I didn't think he quite got in there to disagree with you there, Bri. Zach and Edie made, uh, very, showed very good aggressiveness and will draw the foul and go to try to com complete the three-point play. 26 to 20 with 355. Generali agrees with you, though. He doesn't, he doesn't really like the call. Matthews in the game with three points. He did a very good job. And there's Zach and Edie to complete it. He's got all four Sega Hearts points here in the second quarter. Kick ball to remain with Holy Cross. Will someone please tell us you're going to play this in the basketball game, not soccer. It's the third kick ball tonight. Matt McGuire checking back in for Bastico. Wade Anderson. Ball. Wade Anderson checks back in for Eric McGuire. Eric McGuire looks a little silly in that uniform, huh? What? Gray out top. Looking for McGuire. Here's Davis. Davis oh, like draws the contact, ball. but they don't call anything. Crashing the boards, Gwizdowski hustling, fighting. Gray controls. That was Gwizdowski to help control that one. Gray throws up a wild shot. Trapped, trapped down on the baseline. Wiggins gets out of it to Anderson. Nearly stepped on the baseline. Wiggins for three. Can't get it. Davis controlling again. Baseball pass to DiGiovanna. Takes it to the middle. Ball away, tough shot, almost got it to go, and here's Wiggins. Up and down, run and gun hairstyle from the Willie High gym. There's the foul, and the basket counts for Wiggins. Brian Davis committed it. And the hearts have closed within three again. That's Davis' second foul. That could be key. If he picks up his third before halftime, that's going to be uh, to Sega Hart's advantage. Here's Wiggins to try to complete that three-point play. Can't get it down. Gwistowski keeps it alive. Uh, check in. I assume this may be for Brian Davis to try to give him a little breather with two fouls right now. Derek Ray out top. Off to DiGiovanna. DiGiovanna over to Davis for three. He hit five of those against Hillhouse. Not even close on that one. And Wiggins. McGuire fighting hard inside. Can't get it to go. He's still scoreless right now. Can't get it to go again. Here's Derek Ray. Too many opportunities for Holy Cross right now. That's too many opportunities. Sigurd Hurt's going to have to crash the boards a little bit better. Holy Cross's problem during this losing streak has been rebounding, but they've sure corrected it for tonight's game. McGuire shoot th two free throws right now. Holy Cross clinging to a three-point lead. He misses the first. McGuire is still scoreless right now. He's really struggling tonight. Of course, there's been a lot of perimeter shots, so he hasn't been included in the offense all that much. Just hasn't got the shots to go down. He'll hit the second one, and he's on the scoreboard for the Crusaders. Wade Anderson has the ball. It's guarded by Derek Ray. They are. They are. They're really pumped for this game up by four right now. Zaccanini can't get the three, and there's Derek Gray, the guard, coming in to grab a rebound. Gray, outlet to Di Giovanna. Here's Gray. Gray driving the lane. Pretty move to the hoop. And Derek Gray with five points. So Holy Cross has a six-point lead now with two minutes even to play here in the first half. Hanson goes inside. Can't get it to go. He's struggling right now. Gwistowski's playing him tough. Nice look by Di Giovanna. George. George. I thought there was a little contact inside, but uh, I guess the officials disagreed. Brian George, number 34, he checked in before for Brian Davis. Here's Wiggins on the wing for Sullivan. 
they really just have nothing going for them in a half court set. They really have no options to go to right now. Wade Anderson, tough reverse layup here. Nearly got the roll. That's Gwizdowski's fourth rebound of the night. Brian George takes it strong. Can't get it to go, tipped by McGuire. Hanson pulls down the rebound. Right now, Sacred Heart has only six points in the second quarter, and we've only got a minute seven to play. Wallace Wiggins can't get it. They just can't find the ocean. They're getting no easy shots. This Crusader defense is relentless right now. Gray, as Holy Cross looks to slow it up just a little bit and take some time off the clock. Yeah, right now, I mean, that, that, you know, that was a problem against Crosby and against Hill House, you know, some of the teams they lost to in that losing streak. Right now, they're really doing a job. They're forcing turnovers, they're grabbing rebounds. They're doing the things that affected them in that losing streak, and they're putting that on Sager Hart, especially here in the second quarter. Sager Hart has lost some of their confidence, and it has shown. They, they took the ball with about a minute left, and they're draining it all the way down. St. Hart a little frustrated right now. They're trying to extend their defense just a little bit. Gwistowski back to DiGiovanna, 15 on the clock. Brian George out top, and he just, bad pass to make right there. And they hack him, DiGiovanna with the foul. Brian George really uh, telegraphed that pass right there, and he had no chance. Sullivan with the steal, and he'll draw the foul. That could give St. Hart a little momentum. Sullivan to shoot two right now. Greg Sullivan with two points. And Eric McGuire checking in for the hearts. <laughs> McGuire also a sophomore. We got two McGuire's on the court tonight. Chris for Holy Cross and Eric for Sega Hart. Sullivan to shoot two. Can't get the first one to go. So even their free throws really haven't fallen for them. Just amazing, Holy Cross has played excellent defense here in the second quarter. Only giving up six points, that's just amazing stat. Gets a second to go down. 29-24, eight seconds left. DiGiovanna bringing the ball up the court. Crusaders trying to get this last hoop. George for three, and can't get it to go. Gustowski.
No, no, two. I don't know about check that. Greg Sullivan with the two on that one. He's got five points now. Oh, yeah. Shook him, but didn't get anywhere close to the basket. But he'll still reset. Yeah. There's Busty. Busty Nice pass. Misses. Rebound, McGuire. Basketball not count. I don't know what they can do, but right now they've got to just do something to, to correct this rebound. I mean, if we had some numbers here, I mean, I, I really wonder. I mean, it's kind of like what Crosby did to Kennedy last night. Crosby hammered Kennedy on the boards. It's been the same kind of story today for Holy Cross. That's a big key for basketball. You control the boards, you should win. Definitely. Let's check the, and while we got a minute, let's check the NVL standings right now. We'll be a top of the league with 8-0 you know, record. They look like they're going to be tough to beat. Brunk is pretty tough to beat also. With Eddie Anzalani, Anzalotti, I mean, he's going to keep you in every ball game. Then you have Kennedy at 6-3. and three. Crosby, very competitive at 5-3. and three. No, I'm not up there. Yeah, definitely. And Nogatuck comes in at 5-3. and three. And then Holy Cross and Sagahara right behind those two. Water the side of the picture. Yeah, they, they really are struggling. Their whole athletic program, even their football team, really uh, blew this year, you know? It's going to be tough for them to even grab one win in the league. That, that Wolke Watertown game is going to be one classic, huh? <laughs> Sullivan for three. Can't get it. Big Again, bound by Stiegel. Stiegel's got some big arms. Oh, he does. Good leaping ability, too. All the way down court. Tough pass. Tough pass. Broken up. Christian McGuire. Fourteen point game right now, fifty to thirty-six. We've got thirty seconds to play here in the third quarter. Just try to spread it out a little. Maybe work for one here. Yeah. Looks like that's what they want to do here. Work for one. Matthews to McGuire. Right. To Cole. And dribble stops. Find Fastico. This is the money man right here. He's the man they're gonna look for for a shot out of this. Double pick. Double pick. T ball all the way. Nope. Good. We're going to get a chance with this one. Good job by Chris Matthews to break that play up. Play. And after three periods of play here, the Crusaders clinging to the 14-point lead, 50 to 36. We'll be back with the fourth period after this. We're ready for the start of the fourth quarter here. Second part we're inbounded. Trailing 50 to 36. He gave it 22 points. Leading scorers for the Crusaders are T. Davis with 22 points. Who else has really done the job statistically? I'm going to bring in my statistician, Nick Barberi, right now. He's keeping up on the stats for us tonight. Who, who's got it? Uh, I don't know here. It looks like... Uh... We'll get back to him right after this. We got some good action inside. Here's Davis. We got 24 points in the night. All right, just to see a hurdle at the game. Watching T. Davis go down for a layup. Pass to Giovanni, pin on the backboard. Oh, get that! Great job by Gustowski. He was the key to that whole play. Got a great inlet pass to Davis, and Holy Cross is just running away with this right now. A lot of good chemistry. They're really working hard. They're starting to pay off with. I think this is. Yeah, they played a very tough schedule as of late. They played three straight road games, and uh, this being, I believe, their yeah, this will be their fourth straight road game now. So. I think the schedule is only going to get easier for the Crusaders, and we're only going to see better things out of them the rest of the way. He's now got 27. Unbelievable. He's playing unbelievable tonight. With a ton of boards also, I might add. Yeah, yeah. 19. Gustavski, good defense. Foul. Who's the foul on? Who's the foul? Who's the fouls on John Bastico? Yeah, like I reached They'll send Keith Shea to the line. Shea, Shea came in a little bit in the first half. Replaced, he replaced uh, Wallace Wiggins, who had some foul trouble. He came in and scored three points for him. 
Shea's one for one so far from the line tonight. He played earlier as well in the JV game. He'll miss the first. Sacred Heart's gonna have to start doing something right now. It's a 19 point game. I think they're just gonna try to make it respectable the rest of the way. I don't think, I just don't think with uh, Holy Cross being able to do what they want inside is gonna yeah. be a good time. Definitely. Foul, though. Showed a little improvement on the boards. Gotta make those free throws when you get the opportunity though, you know? Free throws will just kill you down the stretch. Cause really their offense is just not coming easy right now for them. So they've gotta do everything they can to get on the scoreboard. Still think that lost to Mike Sanders. I think that Mike Sanders really could help this team tonight. Leading scorer on the team. He can control the whole game. Look at this, another missed free throw. You just gotta make him right now. Makes one out of two. That's a little pressure by Sacred Heart. That's what they've got to do right now. Let's see how Holy Cross attacks it. Holy Cross has got to learn they've, what they've got to do down the stretch here is be a little more patient with that full court press. They've got to learn that they don't need points right now. Time's on their favor. I think they've got to utilize that. Utilize the clock a little. Yeah, they're, they're rushing things right now. I, I, well, at least they did that possession. Holy Cross can just, they can just still look, keep with their game plan here. They don't want to, yeah. Right. They don't want to get passive right now with this big lead. Good oh, a big bound by Davis. Uh-oh, uh oh better watch out. Foul. Wallace Wiggins committing it. I believe that's his third foul. Thought we were going to see some fireworks out of us to go there. Ryan Davis pulling down the rebound and getting the outlet to uh, Bastigo. He's got 11 boards tonight, and he, he's, just one of, he's just one of the Crusaders that have controlled the boards tonight, though. Every, everyone on their team has done the job. Gwizdowski, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable play. He's only got four points, but he's doing it. He's doing it. He's got four steals at halftime. He's, he must have double digits and rebounds at this point. And uh, he's, yeah, yeah. Really, that's all. I mean, they're not looking to him for 20 points a game. Everybody does their job. They should be successful. Eighteen point lead for the Crusaders, six oh four to play here in this game. Sigharts record on the year is three and five, three and four in the NVL. The Crusaders are an even five hundred all across the board. They're three and three in the NVL and four and four overall. That was a great rebound by Keith I mean he, he's putting those down those rebounds with authority. He lost it. Keith Davis again showing his athletic ability. He's doing it all right now. McGuire will come in and replace him by Sigha. Okay. 27 points, 12 rebounds for Brian Davis. He's been the man tonight. Comes in averaging 20.8 points per game for the Crusaders. Off. Nearly backcourt. Well, yeah, a little touch foul right there. Doing that all night with those quick hands. Really yeah. playing a solid game. It's causing problems out there. Just That's just. Foul, however. Here's Zaccanini at the free throw line. He's got six points tonight. 17 fouls now for the Crusaders, so that puts Sigurd Hart in the one on one. Hearts have six fouls, so Sigur, uh, Holy Cross will be shooting next time, too. He misses again, foul shots. McGuire to rebound. Gets it out to T. Nine rebounds. It's Chris McGuire's ninth rebound, so he's also done the job on the boards. A few of these Crusaders are going to end up in a double digit rebounding by the end of this match. McGuire got a strip, got it back to Gwistowski. Outside the circle. High pass, controlled by T Bone with big hands. Up misses. Rebound McGuire. McGuire, good hustle. Great hustle by Mack. Holy Cross has shown that all night. Great hustle. Quiet. 
also doesn't drive. Yeah, he's normally a 20-point-per-game scorer. He comes in, he's only got five points right now, but he's doing other things. They haven't really needed him tonight, so... Uh, Back to Gray. Corner, T-Bone, another three. Shot at 19. Rebound, Derek Gray. Controls, brings it out. Slows it up a little. That's a good, I mean, I think it's good. Yeah. Drives. Got it, and the foul. He stuff off the dribble, that's Eric Gray. Right now, second half, very soft inside. Yeah, Every, everywhere you look, rebounding, Not scoring inside. You know. Yeah. Gray will try to complete the three-point play. He's now got nine points on the night, looking for double digits. Garland, 59-38, with 4.40 left in the fourth quarter. Oops. Rebound, Mack, got it stripped. That'll be a hole across the ball. Well, Wiggins pulled up for three on that one, and they're just gonna have to, gonna have to start shooting the threes just to try to get back in this one. It doesn't look good. 21 point lead, the biggest lead of the game for Holy Cross. So it looks like Holy Cross is gonna go out and improve their record to five and four. Definitely. They needed this win badly for the confidence and get back in this league race. I know. <laughs> Chant for Mo here, but he's not coming. <laughs> no, he won't be here tonight. Big Mo Malone cannot come. Wow, good job by Wallace Wiggins. Wiggins Again, now. Holy Cross figures make them earn the foul shots, even though they're up by yep. 19. They haven't been able to, unable to do it the whole night. Wiggins has 11 points on the night right now. Looking for his 12th here at the line. Lost it. Up and in. Chris Hansen in the Lukowski store. Outlet to Gray. Oh. Yeah. A great pass by Mack with Gray. Eric Gray. Twelve points that's on the vintage, night now. Vintage Celtics right there. That's vintage Gwizdowski. Let's put it there, huh? Gwizdowski really looks like a Celtic type player, huh? Slow, white. Very big. <laughs> Does whatever he has to do. Definitely. Checking in for the hearts is Damian Sylvia, number 44. He'll replace Hanson. Holy Cross shows, shows no signs of uh, taking out their starters. And it looks like they want a little rub it in a little bit on the hearts. The big city rivals, these two teams. They have been wait, winning lately, and this is, you know, this is how you do it. Well, heart, the hearts are going to have to bring up the football game uh, this year because they're not going to win this one tonight. Just to make it some nice cuts and you know balls being delivered there inside. Yeah, he's working well without the ball. Good work here. That's how you take a foul. McGuire, great position underneath. There. He, does, he does the little things. And even Coach Generali has to give him some applause over there on the sidelines. He's got to be happy with the way his team has played tonight. And the way I look at Sega Hart here, they've they've had trouble uh, shooting the free throws, rebounding. They've had a lot of turnovers, and it really. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, Flyers starting to pick up the pace a little now. Callahan and Brian George are about to set to check in for the Crusaders. That's good. I like to see Callahan and George get some minutes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we, we'll keep it up here. Time out left. 253 to go in the fourth quarter. We got nine. Sierra fans are trying to remind Holy Cross that they're the loss of Crosby, saying they beat Crosby. But uh, it, doesn't it doesn't matter when you look at that scoreboard, really, right now, huh? 23 point lead for the Crusaders. Another missed free throw. There can also be a, showing a sign that can still be tired here. Uh, missing foul shots. 
Sullivan gets the next one. Seven points for Greg. Thirteen to lead the hearts as well as Wiggins. Yeah, yeah. We got we got another Zachanee here, but it isn't it isn't Brian Zachanee. It's his twin brother Jason Zachanee. He comes off the bench to replace Brian. Kind of hard to tell those two apart. Greg Sullivan with two. George cannot get his paw on it. I'll let the George. He's here. George takes He missed it. And there he commits the foul. So George really didn't uh, prove to be that valuable on that trip down the floor. That misses the, yeah. A little frustration on that foul by George as well. He doesn't like the basketball. <laughs> another missed foul shot. T-bone, another rebound. 13 rebounds for T. Davis. A monster underneath tonight. As well as scoring. But that's not off the end of the tonight. Down the end. In the George. George takes to the goal. Strong. The sneak off. From seven feet away, he nails it. Not about sneak off. Again, another player that's doing the, doing the job. Devonna looks in amazement. Tough call by the refs right there. He's a hustler, really. He's a scrapper, a hustler. Really. Makes the offense click. Sullivan with the rebound. 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 Foul. Damian Sylvia with the foul on that play. Callahan, another player that just does his job, passes the ball around. He told me before he would not take another threes, one for one in the air, doesn't want to ruin that percentage. <laughs> hey, shoot 100%, you know, why ruin it? When he gets his minutes, you know, he'll play well. Brian Davis, he's played a, a lot of minutes today. I, I just assume take him out at this point. Jamie Sanders checking back in, checks in for the first time as well for the Hearts. Two Davis right now is 5-3 at the line tonight. Make it 6 for 9. Butler! And a good job by Brian Davis, his baller <laughs> Davis leads with 29 points and 14 rebounds for Brian Davis. Great game he played. Sylvia banking that one home for his first, first bucket of the night. 71-49 Crusaders, a minute 18 to play. In the ballers from eight, shot at seven. Rebound, Sacred Heart. Up the court. Good transition, D. Tough shot. Good rebound by Bastico. Good take to the hole by Wallace Wiggins. 11 second half points for Wiggins, 15 overall. Grab on, Colin. Big applause. Rebound. 
Got it. Rebound, bitch. He's on the ground. Great hustle by Van. I think they might look to sit up here to the play here. Yeah, I'm gonna evolve offensively here. Give it to Vance! Give it to Vance! Yeah! Oh, it gets a strong block. Vance can't buy it. The crowd went wild if you put that one in. Sanders. And that's it. The Holy Cross Crusaders snapped their four-game losing streak. They beat the Hearts 71 to 51. I'd like to thank our statistician Nick Barberi and our cameraman GP Telesco. What a great job they did tonight. Yeah, real nice job. And Bart had to leave early because of Larry We're hoping he'll be back. So we'll see you next week when Holy Cross battles Torrington.